I was told, look after your sister. And it is something that is very much a part of just who I am, which is that look after. Before Kamala Harris would become just the second African-American woman and the first South Asian American to win a seat in the U.S. Senate. We know that there is so much to be proud of in terms of who we are as a state. I am so proud. I am so proud to represent this beautiful, diverse state. Before Kamala Harris would become the first female vice president-elect of the United States of America. Before Kamala Harris would have over 72,000 subscribers on YouTube, over 1 million followers on Twitter, and over 11 million followers on Instagram at the time of this recording. Oh god, those stats, they just blew up overnight. Kamala Harris has spent the better part of 20 years in public office, notching up a long list of firsts. Not only was she the first black woman to be elected district attorney in California. If we are at the point, however, of dealing with the epidemic in the emergency room, it's much too late and it's much too costly. She was also the first woman to become California's attorney general, the first Indian American senator, and now she's become the first black woman and Asian American to become vice president elect of the United States. Kamala began her long journey to this moment from her birthplace in Oakland, California, where her Indian mother taught her everything she could need to know to be a strong and powerful woman. One that would go on to accomplish the type of things that would inspire women throughout the world. What's going on guys, it's your boy Michael McCrudden back at it again with a brand new video, this time taking a look at the life and career of Kamala Harris prior to fame, here for you of course and before they are famous. Now with the American election mercifully finally winding down, will the president and vice president elect, well they've been declared your winners, Joe Biden and Kamala Harris. Now over the next couple of weeks, we thought we'd take a look at some political figures or those associated with these guys. We're actually working on a video on Hunter Biden. So subscribe for that. Let us know who's next in the comments down below and I'll see you guys after the intro. Hey, be sure to subscribe and hit that bell. Boom! Kamala Harris was born on October 20th, 1964 in Oakland, California. Now she was raised in the predominantly African American neighborhood of Berkeley and from her earliest days, her mother Shamala would bring her young daughter to civil rights demonstrations when she was still only a toddler. I remember how people would look at my mother and make certain assumptions about her intelligence or her capacity or her right to belong. As the eldest child, you see this. Shamala was an Indian immigrant who came to America to attend the University of California where she met Kamala's Jamaican born father Donald. Now the two, they bond over their shared passion for civil movements. While Shamala, well she carved out a career for herself as a breast cancer researcher. Now Donald, he became a Stratford University economics professor. Kind of weird that her dad's name's Donald, don't you think? Now Kamala also has a younger sister, Maya, and their mother, she helped them maintain their ties to India by raising them with Hindu beliefs and taking them back to their home country to visit every few years, where Kamala, she would spend time with her grandparents. Now her grandfather, he was a high ranking government official who fought for Indian independence. And her grandmother was an activist who traveled around the country teaching impoverished women about birth control. When we were growing up and we'd go to India and my grandfather was a little mischievous. So my grandmother of course was like strictly no nothing. If it had a mother, it was not getting eaten. Mm -hmm. And if my grandmother would go out of town, my grandfather would then, um, he'd get very mischievous and he'd say, okay, let's have French toast. When Kamala was seven, well her parents, they got divorced. Now at first, she and her mother and her sister, they moved into the top floor of a yellow duplex in Berkeley, while Kamala was attending Thousand Oaks Elementary School, which at the time was only in its second year of integration. Now for three years, she would take the bus from her predominantly black lower middle class neighborhood to her school located in a prosperous white district, which allowed her to see the disconnect between the two types of communities firsthand. You know, there was a little girl in California who was part of the second class to integrate her public schools and she was bused to school every day. And that little girl was me. By the time Kamala was in middle school, well her mom, she got a job in Montreal, Quebec, Canada as a teacher at McGill University and a position as a cancer research specialist at Jewish General Hospital. While attending Westbound High School, while well, Kamala and her sister, they led a successful demonstration in front of their apartment building in protest of a policy that banned children from playing on their front lawn. Damn, sounds like something only like Lisa Simpson would do. I'm late. I've been racking my brain trying to think of something to cut from the budget. Kamala returned to the United States to enter Howard University in Washington, D.C., where she was elected to the Liberal Arts Student Council, and she joined the debate team on her way to earning herself a Bachelor of Arts in Political Science and Economics. She then enrolled at the University of California Hastings College of the Law, earning herself a JED, or Doctor of Jurisprudence. That's in 1989. 
I hope I'm saying that correctly. Never heard of it before. Her next milestone was gaining admittance to the State Bar of California, which she did in 1990, and she soon after became the Deputy District Attorney in Alameda County. After serving that role for eight years, she became the Managing Attorney for the Creator Criminal Unit in the San Francisco District Attorney's Office, and she worked her way towards being appointed Chief of its Community and Neighborhood Division in 2000. Now, during her time in that role, will she establish the state's first Bureau of Children's Justice. By 2003, she was defeating her former boss, Terrence Hallinan, to become San Francisco's new district attorney. Now, after exploring her philosophy and ideas on criminal justice reform in her 2009 book, Smart on Crime, a career prosecutor's plan to make us safer, will Camilla continue her political ascent by beating Los Angeles County District Attorney Steve Cooley? for his role as California's Attorney General in November of 2010. She quickly made an impact in that role by pulling out of negotiations that would have seen five of the country's largest financial institutions get a slap on the wrist for improper mortgage practices. She also refused to defend Proposition 8. In fact, after the U.S. Supreme Court dismissed an attempt to appeal the ruling in 2013, well, Camilla, she officiated the first same-sex marriage in California since Prop 8 was initially enacted. Damn, she really is like Lisa Simpson, you know what I mean? By virtue of the power and authority vested in me by the state of California, I now declare you spouses for life. On August 22nd, 2014, Camilla made some time for herself and she got married to lawyer Douglas Emhoff and officially became the stepmother to his two children who affectionately refer to her as S. Mama La. I don't know. Two years later, and Camilla was ready to become a member of the U.S. Senate. Now, she handedly defeated Congresswoman Loretta Sanchez for a U.S. Senate seat in California back in 2016. Now, in her senatorial role while Camilla, she supported a single-payer healthcare system. She also introduced legislation to increase access to outdoor sites like playgrounds in urban areas and provide financial relief for families facing rising housing costs. In January 2019, during a Martin Luther King Jr. Day speech, well, Camilla announced that she would be running for president in 2020. I stand before you today to announce my candidacy for president of the United States. One of the top Democratic candidates, well, Camilla joined a crowded field that already included Massachusetts Senator Elizabeth Warren and the, uh, well, the front man that everyone thought would win, Joe Biden. Now, Camilla, she remained one of the top performers in polls over the following weeks and had a strong showing at the first Democratic primary in June of 2019. And that's where she gained headlines for taking Joe Biden to task over his history of opposing federal busing for school integration. Now, the next debate went less smoothly for her after Joe and other candidates criticized her health care plan and polls began to show that she was slipping. By December of 2019, she was calling it quits on her presidential campaign, but her race to the White House, it was far from over. After winning the Democratic Party, will Joe Biden he announced in August of 2020 that he had selected Camilla to be his running mate. Now with this historic moment, will Camilla would become the first black woman and person of South Asian descent to be nominated for a national office by a major party. Now a few months later, in fact, just last week actually, well Camilla and Joe, they defeated Donald Trump and Mike Pence, making Camilla the first female vice president-elect. When the election was called on November 7, 2020, well Camilla, she took to the stage that night to reflect on her journey to this moment and the role her mother played in getting her here. And to the woman most responsible for my presence here today, my mother, Shamala Gopalan Harris, who is always in our hearts. It truly is the start of a new day that we have before us. And I think Camilla is gonna do wonderful things once she gets sworn in this January. As for the rest of her story, well, I think we're gonna wrap this one up here because this is before they were famous. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed that video. Now, we drop a new video each and every day, so here's a recent drop that you might enjoy. We handpicked that one for you because if you like this video, you'll probably like that. We also got playlists like over here, so click on that if you wanna see a whole list of a bunch of videos we've dropped in the past. And if you're new to the Fame Gang, be sure to subscribe and turn on them post notifications, and I'll see you guys in another video. Boom!